Look, Councillor Leviticus and Captain Rianne sent me. I need to see Councillor Abor now. And what about my sister? She hasn't been seen since she took the Councillor her meal. Councillor Abor was very clear about this. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, another mercenary. Is our Ivory Brigade so enfeebled that Captain Rianne must resort to hiring sellswords? Look, as I told the Wood Elf, Councillor Abor was quite insistent. She doesn't want to be disturbed. All right, enough. I can see when I'm being overruled. Very well. I give you permission to enter the Watchtower. Councillor Abor's safety is now in your hands. Lurius? Oh. You guys have... Oh no! Councillor Abor's been murdered! But where's the servant? Of course they tore out the pages and took them. Just when we were so close to finding out more about the ambitions. Abor's meal is still warm. So what happened to the servant that delivered it? The Dark Brotherhood's calling card. I believe you. We have a door locked from the outside, a dead counselor, and a missing servant. Did the see that rope hanging from the top of the tower? Bet my bottom acorn that's how the assassin got in and out. But the missing servant... Something about that. Maybe. So? Will Councillor Abor be returning with you to Leowin? Am I finally going to be able to get my fort back in order? Murdered? Gods, keep your voice down. Do you want to start a panic? Tell me what you found in the Watchtower. Let me see that. A black handprint. The sign of the Dark Brotherhood. But where is the servant, Talaise? Is she involved in this fiasco? And how did she and the assassin get out of the watchtower? My brigadines never left their post. Well, that explains some of it, but not all. We need to locate Talais. Since you're already involved in working for Captain Rian, I want you to quietly try to find Talais. Start by talking to the other servants in the kitchen and dining. Your sister is fine. This one is certain. Then where could she be? She would never neglect... Probably found a dark corner and someone to snuggle with. This one does that all the time. Pleasant days, visitor. Ah, Talis. She worries her brother so. She asked me. All right, grab a broom and start sweeping. What? No, that's Talaise's job. And do you see Talaise anywhere? Another new no. face in the fort? First Councillor Abor, now you and that cute wood elf. Look, I'd love to chat, but Talaise has wandered off and left me to handle her chores. She took the Councillor her meal and hasn't returned. Did you check the watchtower? 
Well, she's been acting like a frightened guar since she arrived. Stays locked up. The servants come. That young woman. She has not returned. No. The pantry is in the cell. Before we check the pantry, let's talk. So, what did we learn? Brotherhood murder. Oh no. We need to talk about this. Actually, it's that calm. All right. I think I figured it out. The assassin followed Talay's down here, murdered her, and took her place so they could gain access to the watchtower. Pretty clever, but they didn't have to kill her. Right. <laughs> Very funny. Wait, you're serious? If you're part of this, if you've been trying to save your murdering friends... Ah! All right. All right, I think I figured it out. The assassin followed Talay's down here, murdered her, and took her place so they could gain access to the watchtower. Pretty clever, but they didn't have to kill her. Right. <laughs> Very funny. Wait, you're serious? If you're part of this, if you've been trying to save your murdering friends... Ah! All right, we're going back to Leowin. You can walk on your own or I can drag your dead body behind me. Yeah, I've read that somewhere. But what about the calling cards? The Black Hand is definitely making a statement. Trying too hard to convince us that the Dark Brotherhood is behind the murders. Ooh. All right, I can see your point. That doesn't change the fact that the remaining counselors are still in danger. We need to warn counselors Valeria and Vandacia. Right. Report to Commander Orton on your way out. Tell him what happened. Then go check on counselors Valeria and Vandacia. I need to return to Leowin and consult with Leviticus. But this? After your report to the Commander, make contact with counselors Valeria? Yes. No? I don't know. We were talking about the counselors Valeria and Vandacia. Suddenly I had a premonition. It was brief and disturbing and mildly unpleasant, like the dreams I've been having. But this is the first time while I was awake. Remember I told you about that strange book I found? The one with the Daedric writing that I can't read? I've been having bad dreams since I found it, and the dreams are becoming more frequent. It was just a flash, but it was company... It was one of the waking flame cultists I... What do you want? All right. You talked to the fort servants and rummaged around in our pantry. What's the verdict? That's... Oh, that's horrible. Are you sure? No. Of course you're sure. No one would lie about something like that. Manager fight! Cottage the Duchess mentioned, I think. Not 
all that romantic, is it? Let's look around. Nothing but creaky floorboards and old weeds for me. May I? Her anguish just jumps off the page, doesn't it? So, Mathen intended to marry someone else and Alazinda killed him in a fit of passion. Can you imagine loving someone so- It's a ring of Mara, the sort of ring used in the Pledge of Marriage. Mathen might have intended to give it to this mysterious fiancé. Who's there? Alicinda, my love. Is it you? So this is Mathen? Gracious! Grandmother Alicinda clearly knew how to pick them. Holy shit, he's jacked as a motherfucker! This light, it offers some respite from my sorrows. You have my thanks. I am Mathen Galanus, heir to the Duchy of Geoves. What brings you to this curse? Is heartache not curse enough? My great love, Alizinda, poisoned me on the very night I meant to propose to her. Someone deceived her. Told her I meant to marry another. She killed me, yes. But it was an act of jealous grief, not a witchcraft. I... I do not know. I've learned that certain objects hold a grip on the soul. Things we treasured in life. In my darkest moments, I sometimes feel drawn to the chapel where they laid my body to rest. I see harsh light glinting off my golden armor. Maybe. These long, gray years make it difficult to think. Seek out the chapel. You will find it to the west. My lady, forgive my impertinence, but you are the very image of my lost love, Alizinda. How could this be? Oh my goodness. I, um, I, I believe I'm her descendant, brave Sir Duke, uh, Baron, whatever. My name's Yasara, by the way. What were we talking about again? You share her spirit, Lady Yasara. At last, fate grants me a kindness. We must help him. That poor soul. Ectoplasm. Sapa, if I can save this, save him and not her. Mathen, my darling boy. We can finally end this curse. And now I part with the Lady Yasara as well? Is there nothing you won't take from me? Place the regalia, adventurer. It is well past time we left. Farewell, dear lady. I wish we had more time. Mathen! Why aren't you? Mathen! I'm... I'm still here? My poor Mathen. What went wrong? I am sorry for absconding with dear Lady Yasara. I found myself trapped. Perhaps. The foul bird, perhaps. Part of me still yearns for the warmth of Aetherius. But now, as I behold the beautiful Lady Yasara, I'm given pause. She is so like my beloved Lady Yasara. Light of my afterlife. That ring you carry is the key to my heart. I leave my fate in your hands. My hands? Mathen, what are you saying? An attentive and loving guardian. Are you serious? Tall Papa, preserve me. Destroy the ring, and I will pass to Aetherius. The choice, my lady, is yours. Did 
I just get a proposal from a ghost? Up until now, the only man who ever wooed me was a stable hand in Bergama. I know I should recoil at this. It's profane, blasphemous, right? But gods, he's cute. And the way he speaks, it's like a dream. Oh, how could he lay something like this at my feet? I don't know. Aside from the whole ghostly murder victim thing, this is what my heart always yearned for. It's why I write romance novels. The thought that I could bring him love and joy is intoxicating. Still, he deserves peace and rest, right? Did I just get a proposal? Lady Yasara seems overwhelmed. I regret that I must place this burden on the woman I adore. Won't you help her along? She trusts you. Did I just... I don't know. Do it. Yes, I want to write and travel and feel the rush of romance every time I slip on this ring. Mathen and I have so much to offer one another. It will be a little weird, yes. But like I said before, who wants normal romance? Certainly not me. She's gonna be banging a ghost. It's gonna be scary movie, uh, that scary movie. Uh, it's gonna be that sex scene from the scary movie scene where the ghost is banging that girl all over the walls, like. <laughs> Don't be freaky. I want you to stay with me, Mathen. I know it's weird, but... Weird? No, my lady. Unique. Unique and perfect. Okay. This was extremely weird, but... At least we got her... Him away from his bi... Her... His bitch-ass mother. Driven out of Blackwood. I still can't figure out why they would be targeting us, Vandasia. Eliminate the threat first. Then we can seek answers. All of the remaining counselors in Blackwood are gathered here in the castle. Valeria, Vandasia, and myself. While we await the arrival of the scribe I sent for, tell me what you uncovered in Gideon. I'm not sure I agree with Vandasia's assessment. Yes. I remember reports of their presence early in Morikar's reign, but they were driven out. The assassins must see this as the perfect opportunity to reclaim their base, but what does that have to do with Leovic's secret and the ambitions? Vondasia, Faleria, and I were just discussing that. We think Leovic had each of the counselors unknowingly working on a different aspect of the ambitions project. They each had access to a piece of the puzzle, but no one but Leovic knew everything. That's our prevailing theory. If the counselors ever came together to compare notes, the truth of the ambitions would be revealed. Indeed. Hmm, very curious. Still, I'm hesitant to take the word of an admitted killer at face value. Not with so much at stake. Regardless, there. Jirix and Sophus's documents contain information written in Imperial Code. I sent for the scribe Baragon, but he has yet to arrive. Until we know more. You were there. Did Indania really rise from the dead? All right, you heard Leviticus. Time to get back to work. While the counselors remain here and wait for the scribe to show up, we need to determine what your Dark Brotherhood friends are actually up to. Show me that letter. Yeah, these are definitely orders. It mentions Blood Run Cave. That's northeast of Leowin, toward the edge of Blackwood territory. Well, as the spinners always say, the best way to find out what's happening in the clearing is to step into it. Of course it does. Nothing has been easy since I found that strange book and started chasing down Leovic's secret. Well, are you still... Meet me at Blood Run Cave. 
Despite your assurances, we need to determine beyond a shadow of a doubt whether the Dark Brotherhood is behind the murders or not. I'm still not sure I can... All right, but why keep it a secret from me? We were trying to prevent the counselors from being murdered, but four people had to die before you decided to mention your connection to the murderers. Oh, sorry, possible murderers. Yeah, we did, didn't we? All right, your secret's safe with me. But if the Dark Brotherhood turns out to be involved and you lied to me, well, let's assume that's not going to happen. I just hope I don't have another one of those waking visions. Remember back at Fort Blueblood when we found the murdered servant? I had a vision of a shadowy figure. It was a robed and hooded cultist. Order of the Waking Flame, I think. It was brief and powerful, over in a moment, but the figure felt evil. What else could it be? It's written in an unknown language. Probably Daedric. Lupus sent me to find it, so it must be important. I'll meet you at Blood Run. Still looking for your murderer? Well, you've come to the wrong place, my friends. We found the Black Hands beside every body. Must I say it again? You've been duped. And the Dark Brotherhood has been set up to take the blame. You talk to the assassin. Haven't we already had this conversation, brother? Tell your little wood. I'd like some, too. I'm curious to find out who has the gall to frame the Dark Brotherhood. And rather successfully, I might add. That's no small feat. Whoever it is, they managed to trick the lot of us. Crafty indeed. Nothing substantial. You're the closest link we have to who this unknown enemy happens to be. Now that you're here, maybe you could... What? Now what? Cultists, portaling in. Quickly, secure the sanctuary. That's the Order of the Waking Flame. What are they doing here? Come on, we need to figure out what's going on. Oh, that's easy. The Order of the Waking Flame's the real cold. I'm just looking for those little fucking books that show up occasionally. I really want those... that... Fall back! Close the portals! Warn the High Priest! Oh, I think not. <sighs> Alright. What were we discussing before they so rudely interrupted us? I assume this will satisfy your masters in Leowin. The Dark Brotherhood is not your enemy. The Order of the Waking Flame invaded our sanctuary and killed my brothers and sisters. I can't let them get away with that. Seems to me the cultists didn't want you talking to me. Didn't want you hearing me tell you for the hundredth time that the Dark Brotherhood opportunity. Stay with the assassin. I'll inform Captain Rianne and Counselor Leviticus about the cultists. So it's the cult. A close approximation of our Queen card, but that entire pile is obviously a forgery. So the Order of the Waking Flame killed your counselors and placed the blame on the Dark Brotherhood. All this fuss and... Obviously the cult has someone watching you. They knew exactly when to attack. Certain we'd all be in the Sanctuary. I'm not... Let's see if something... Because I... Oh, no.
Over here. Voices. We failed to kill all the assassins. And the Wood Elf and the Mercenary are still alive. Yes. The High Priest isn't going to be happy about that, but we retrieved the cache hidden in the old sanctuary. With the contents of the cache, the High Priest should be able to determine where to find the first ambition. Agreed. And we will soon have the location of another one of the ambitions. As just another Imperial Counselor, the High Priest has them all fooled. That's something new. What do you think? Sometimes listen. I'd rather not know any... That pedestal looks promising. Let's talk before you try to open a portal. This may work. It may not. It looked to me... See if you can use that rather ostentatious... Well, have a portal. Now to find out if leaping into it turns out to be a good or bad. of the ambition was sent to the high priest what was that about an attack on leowin castle vardasia is the order's high priest i knew i disliked the man them so now i know who needs to die for this grave insult to the dark brotherhood counselor vardasia the high priest of the waking flame they got what they were after i'm going to stick around i'm an assassin That portal should take you back toward the exit. <laughs> 